This is going to be an interesting one. And as you see, we're not in a theme park or anything else like that, but we are in a park, Blue Springs Park. And we're going to go see the manatees. So each year, the manatees come up here to Blue Springs Park, up the St. Johns River, and basically nest over here for the winter because they don't like the cold. Well, I don't like the cold either, but at a 70 degree weather, uh, temperature in the, in the um, water, you can't beat that, right? So they come and nurse their calves and everything here. So let's go see these uh, sea cows. QR code, this way you can uh, get some more manatee information. These overlooks and stuff, where you can look out into the water and see if you find any manatees. What's that? Oh yeah, <laughs> crazy. Hey, God only knows what else we're gonna find out here, huh? They also do guided kayak tours out here for the manatees and stuff. You can go out and they bring you to the areas where they are. Obviously, you're not touching them because in Florida, it is against the law to touch a manatee. They are protected animals. It's like a fishing dock out here too. So yeah, it's fishing is permitted, but only in certain areas. And look right there, that's one of the boats that I was saying that gives you the guided tour around here. Right there. Yeah, signs like this are everywhere. Just don't enter. There's all these fish. Ginormous fish. You ever see a fish that big? Yeah, other than an aquarium. <laughs> okay. So somebody actually just told us too that the manatees, you can actually locate them a little bit because they have these buoys attached to them. Yeah, some. Some of them do. Are tagged. Yeah, so they're tagged, some of them, and they, you know, I guess that's how they keep track of how many. Check it out right there. There it is. It like this. Yeah, it is. It's just like sitting there. That's awesome. It's just huge. No, it's leaving. Jess and I both think that that little pot right there, a bunch of manatees, those dark areas there, because they've been moving around. We think. We're not manatee professionals here. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb. Oh, those long Uh huh. Yeah, oh my god. You gotta go I'd on a say limb. That I don't need to be a professional to know that that's a manatee. <laughs> okay. I'm with you. There's <laughs> 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 like a lot of jumping fish over here, too. I don't know if you guys just saw that. That's awesome. Yeah, so here, these are what uh, fish are in the water here. So when you're walking up the trail, up the boardwalk here, this is really what you're looking at here. This is amazing here. Uh, you look at a lot of Jess in the in the wild. <laughs> But honestly, this right here is uh, definitely what you want to do. Look at that one. Clear as day. Look how clear that water is. Wow. That is amazing. Yeah, the one we're coming up by him. That is so cool. It's awesome seeing how peaceful of creatures these things are too yes. like very slow moving very like carefree like like it's it's they're pretty awesome yeah yeah 
Jess will come back as a maternity, I think. <laughs> if you guys can, definitely get here to Blue Springs. I think Jess just found a manatee here. She just gave me the point down. Oh, I pointed it at the side. Oh, she pointed at the... <laughs> For the alligators, okay. Jess didn't find manatees, but she did find stairs, but oh wait. Fish stairs. Look what's at the end of the stairs. <laughs> that is a lot of fish. What the heck? It's like waiting at the end of the stairway. Like, what happens here? <laughs> <laughs> Do I grow my fish legs and come up? One of them's like on a step. <laughs> oh yeah, he really is. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. You found another set of stairs. Fish are just lying down on the stairs. No, they're like, no, we're good. We're just hanging out here. Oh my gosh. How do you find these things? Only you. Nature girl. There's an owl out here somewhere. Mm -hmm. I have never seen a state park that has a gift shop. And this one is all humanities. That is so cool. Like, have you ever seen a gift shop in a state park? I guess they get a lot of people here. I can't say I've been to many. Oh yeah, well, if you're. We were like upstate in the Thousand Islands, and we rented the boat that time. We stopped at a bunch of like state parks up there. Right. Um. So it depended. Um. I don't know necessarily gift shops. Well, sort of. They, They're probably like general like stores. That. But yeah, like some of them had little shops, depending on how big they were. Right. Stuff like that. But no, not this uh, fancy. But I've never been to like a fancy state park, like a major one. So. Yeah. This is really nice. You know what's cool about this place, Jess? Mm. Like, you don't have to be a real outdoorsy person yeah. to experience the Florida outdoors here. Exactly. This is really nice. What the heck was that? A bird just came out of the bush and scared the heck out of me. And it's not too busy today, and don't expect it to be like this because it's yeah, actually it's like Super Bowl better. Sunday today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we're not football or sports people. We don't like the sports balls. We decided it would be a good day. Yeah. But normally, yeah, it is very busy. Like, they do sometimes have to close down and turn people away. It gets, like, filled to capacity. Yeah. I've heard people waiting, like, two to three hours just to park their car. Yeah. And if that's the case, imagine what these small little areas would be like. Mm -hmm. And we're actually here towards the end of the day too, so. Yeah. Which is probably also helpful. They said even this morning it was pretty busy. Here. Yeah. This is so cool. Imagine being an explorer coming to Florida for the first time and coming through all this nonsense. Like, like this. Like this, no, like pirates and stuff. Ponce de Leon, you know? People like that. Yeah, well, I mean, you say that, but they probably didn't even know what was in the waters. During the summer, they do offer tubing and diving in the rivers here, in the spring, sorry, in the river, wow, it's a spring. <laughs> Which makes sense why this green carpeting is down for the people coming through on the tubes and the divers and stuff so they aren't slipping. We just found some more. They're actually clearly seen right there too, right in the center of the screen. There's two of them. And there's a few more over there by the rocks. Along there. Wow. Just hanging out, doing their thing. You got two manatees right here. Yeah. 
<laughs> I think those are little ones too. He's literally coming closer. He just wants to see us. Say hi to us. Coming up. Oh, no. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> A little bit. There he goes. Yep, there he is. <laughs> hi, buddy. Back down. So those buoys are actually like attached towards the like the top of their tail, not the ends on their like actual tail, but like more like their stomach areas. Like little bracelets on there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really cool that we actually moved up a little bit. You can actually see these ones a lot better here. Wow. Well, look at these out of the water over here. Those are so cool. There's a bunch of them right there. Wow. They're so active over here too. So I gotta say Jess, this 100% was kind of your idea to do. Mm -hmm. And it was an excellent idea. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, there's other things around in, in our Orlando area that we can do now, too. Like, there's a drive that you go along and you get. So, I think that's gonna be the next thing that we do, kind of outdoorsy ish, um, to go see some gators. Yeah, oh. That's how I would like to see them in the car. <laughs> yeah. So, I think we're gonna do that next. This is the levels of the springs here apparently you can go down to like 130 feet deep to 140 and deeper than that that's crazy and the um basically the tide pushes up so cool We did a lot of nature stuff in Georgia. Yeah, especially be well, at some point, the uh, pandemic hit while we were in Georgia. So, like, we really didn't have much of a choice. Yeah, <laughs> our options became super limited. Yeah. But, like, also, we just really enjoy, like, yeah, doing I, stuff. Like I, that honestly, I enjoy nature um, like this. Not so much. I don't think I would like go deep in the woods in Florida. <laughs> no, gosh, no. Yeah, no, like this nature on a trail, like the, a boardwalk trail, like there's a lot of these around. Like, um, I know down in Celebration they got these as well and things like so. Maybe we'll hit up like those as well, too. More and Celebration got a lot of alligators around. I'll tell you that. It's, it's oh, not really? a joke. Oh, yeah, yeah, but maybe we'll do we'll, we'll find more things like this to do. Hey. Who knows? Maybe you'll find us on an airboat or something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe me. I don't think Jess would really do it, but I would. I think that sounds like fun. What, you don't want to do an airboat? Um, I mean, I've done a swamp tour, but not necessarily Well, it's the same. Airboat. It's the same kind of thing. Like, there's, like, down in, off of 192, there's a place down there that... it is the same thing. I feel like if I were <laughs> gator, I could eat an airboat. But you I, couldn't eat the boat that I was in, unless you was Jaws. That, why do you guys say Jaws? Do, 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 do. There's an obsession with Jaws. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> What's the song called? Jaws. Look up the song <laughs> Jaws. By Lemon Demon. <laughs> Lemon Demon. <laughs> Just trust me, you won't regret it. Okay. Here's my question. Why would you give a manatee water? <laughs> yeah, I can't figure it out. They're in water. Why would you give... Can somebody please answer that, please? Why would you give manatee water? I don't know the answer, so don't expect one from me. Is there an epidemic going on for giving manatees bottled water or something? I can't imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, oh look, they look dehydrated. They're in water. Let me give them more water. Maybe they come out of the water. I, Do they? I mean, they are mammals, but no, they don't actually come out of water. They don't like to chill on a rock or something? I don't know. Do I look like a manatee? I mean. Don't answer that. Like you realize like this is the first like actual wild animal in Florida that we've seen like native to Florida since we've been here in four years. And yeah, next month is actually four years that we'll be here. It's crazy. Isn't it right? Four years next month. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. The first wild, like we haven't seen them gator or anything else. Well, I mean, all right, do we count sand cranes? I do. <laughs> all right, so this is the second wild. Because let me tell you, sand cranes are everywhere. Everyone's like, oh my God, gators are everywhere. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. Sand ever. cranes are everywhere. And those things are vicious. <laughs> I don't know how vicious they are, but they will yell at you. They will yell at you. <laughs> they will look to fight with you. They I haven't had are any try to fight me. Oh, I have. Point. Well, usually I have the dog with me, so maybe that's why they're <laughs> not so brave. But. We got these two by oh our God. apartment. They stand at least up to my shoulder. Yeah, they're huge. They're huge. <laughs> and they will. Is that accurate? I think that is 100% accurate. With the face accurate. too? They no. make some ugly faces that you... Like they're just out there like... Wah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is screaming? <laughs> Scared the dog one night the first time she heard it. She didn't even know what the hell it was. Like that's crazy. Hey look, there's a manatee behind me. <laughs> look right there. <laughs> stuffed mat. Wow, stuffed mat. You hear me? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> It's a it's tiled a manatee. Mosaic. A mosaic manatee. <laughs> oh, it's, it, it'd be a fancy manatee now. Because, <laughs> you know, this is exactly what you want to see when you're walking back to your car. It's a whole tree full of vultures. <laughs> that is really cool, though. Oh, these things have an impressive wingspan. Yeah, they really do. And they're huge. Wow. We're done here. How was that? It was so cool, honestly. I yeah. love stuff like this. It was like, um, kind of like going to a zoo, but being like not at a zoo, like right. in real nature. So like, it was really cool. It's really like, I love the little manatees. They're adorable. So cool. So you're not gonna find that anywhere else. Yeah. You're not going to find that anywhere else. Like, like, yeah, one of my favorite things about Florida is all of the, like, stuff that we found here that we'd never see otherwise. Like, right. Like this, like the uh, bioluminescent water, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like, there's so many, like... We got to go back and do that, too. Cool nature that is not what we grew up with, and it's really fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. So, Wow, it's, it's like you can see um, it's February and I'm like sweating my butt off here. Like <laughs> I'm not complaining about that. It's great. It's it's like 80 degrees out right now. It's 81 out right now. It's awesome. I love it. Excellent. Why we moved here? Not this. What we've been having. <laughs> uh, it's been it's so been real cold. cold. It's been nice to get out of the house and do stuff. But to get into Blue Spring Park, it's six dollars for a car load up to eight people yeah two to eight people right so four dollars for a single person in a car mm -hmm. and it's perfect it's an easy day out it's a cheap day out it's fun you're about 40 minutes or so uh, say uh, with uh, probably about an hour with traffic if there is any traffic from Orlando in the theme park area uh, say an hour from probably Disney will be an hour but yeah. if you have a rental, if you drove here, you're on vacation, you live here, definitely, definitely worth the trip to Blue Springs.